Well, hello, everybody. My name is Lisa, and I'm the owner of Shear. Um, it's an honor to be here today to share with you um, my story of how Shear came to be. Just a brief, brief background on myself. Raymond sort of mentioned most of it, but I was born in Hong Kong. My parents are originally from here, but I grew up in Bangkok, Thailand. So after high school, I moved to um, New York City uh, to attend university and also establish my career in the beauty company, in beauty companies. Um, needless to say, I had no experience in retail whatsoever. After 11 years in New York, I decided it was time to come back home, and home eventually became Hong Kong. So three years ago, I moved back here knowing nobody um, except for my family and um, have had no connections really to the city. After about six months of living here, I needed to find a strapless bra for a party dress. So, new to the city, I asked all my friends, hey guys, where should I go buy lingerie? The answer I received was pretty much all the same. Well, Lisa, you really don't buy lingerie in Hong Kong because there's no place to go, but if you're really desperate, you can try these few places. So that was the beginning of everything. I looked around the entire city, I went to all the shops, and I had a shocking discovery. There was no proper lingerie boutique in Hong Kong. When I mean, when I say proper, I simply mean a place where I had options. So a variety in styles, in brands, in sizes, in price. Um, you know, a place where it's luxurious, pretty, because to be honest, I'm a shopper, I want to be pampered. And um, a place where the staff was friendly, knowledgeable, which was key. Um, and where the fitting rooms had to be well lit because it's the worst thing for you to buy lingerie in a room that's stark white. So, um, you know, one of my most memorable experiences while doing this sort of, in the beginning, competitive shopping was I picked up two bras, one and two, and they were honestly both black and both lace. And I asked the sales lady, can you tell me the difference between these two bras, hoping she would somehow sell me, you know, so, Maybe she can make up a story about this particular bra, is this is good for you here, and that one's good for you there, why don't you try them both on? But the answer I received was, well, they're both French, and this one's more expensive. <laughs> so a small, small idea, or just a need for myself, became an obsession. Um, I realized very quickly that there was an opportunity for a multi-brand lingerie boutique that fit all of my needs, what I want, and hopefully also satisfied the needs of other women in Hong Kong. It would be a one-stop shop for all lingerie solutions. We would have a wide variety in styles and brands. Um, we would have well-lit fitting rooms and knowledgeable, friendly staff. Most importantly, at the right, right price point. Finding the right price point was very important um, for us because if you look at the lingerie market in Hong Kong back then, which was only two years ago, and today, it's still pretty much the same. You have first the uh, local or Chinese brands that pretty much occupy the whole spectrum in terms of price, low to high. In terms of global brands that have a, a single brand store, um, you start to see a little bit of a gap in the market. You have the very low end, and then you have the very high end. And again, this is only in Hong Kong. In terms of multi-brand retailers, they only occupy the very high end. So immediately I realized that there was a gap in the market for the mid to high end luxury price point, which I like to call everyday luxury. And that's where I found um, Sheer to have an opportunity. After that, Sheer's concept was born. Um, Sheer brings fashion to lingerie with luxurious designer brands for the sophisticated modern woman in an intimate and inviting shopping environment with passionate, knowledgeable, and personalized care. It's everyday luxury that every woman deserves. So then I started to do my research. It took about one year. This is actually a photo of my living room in chaos because I was tearing up magazine pieces trying to create mood boards. With these mood boards, I had to take them to Paris and New York to trade shows and convince the brands of the concept of sheer in Hong Kong, which was something very new in Asia, um, and really persuade them to let me stock their brands in my shop. Um, 
some of them were a little bit easier than others, I have to say. Um, but after some perseverance and lots of persuasion, most of them took the leap of faith and believed in, not in my experience because I was a nobody in the industry or in, in retail in general, but um, believed in my passion and my drive to make Sheer as successful as I could. So with some uh, dedication and um, nonstop calls to Paris, Sheer finally opened in December 2011, which is exactly two years ago today. So this is what the shop looks like now. Um, this is the pretty much the entire boutique. And then we have um, the way that we display visual merchandising is a little bit different from our competitors in Hong Kong. And the photo on the right is actually our fitting room. So with very nice warm lighting and some of our products. So what makes Sheer competitive um, in this market? I have to say number one is that we're passionate. We're passionate about lingerie and fashion and everybody uh, on my team lives this passion every day. We are also passionate about helping women. For us, it's not so much about selling. Um, there's a statistic out there that 10 Eight out of 10 women are wearing the wrong size bra. And reality is, I hate to say it, but it's kind of true. Um, so a lot of women come to our shop with a problem, with an issue. They may not know that they had the issue before, but once we size them into the proper fit, they realize that they've been wearing the wrong thing their entire lives. So for us, it's not about selling lingerie. It's about helping women. And once you're able to help her change her life somehow, the sales naturally just come. We're also very professional, so my pet peeve when I was uh, competitive shopping was the inexperience or lack of expertise in the sales staff. So we go through very extensive training and bra fitting um, for all our sales um, staff. Um, attention to detail is something that I keep very closely um, in my mind every day. When before Sheer opened, I was talking to a very successful retailer, um, a business owner who, uh, as well, and um, she told me that, Lisa, the only thing you need to remember is that retail is detail. So if you can do that, go ahead and open Sheer. Um, we're also very professional in the way that we provide the environment, the right kind of environment for the woman to make her feel comfortable to shop. We're also very personalized in our service. Shopping for lingerie, we realize, is a very intimate experience for the woman. It can be very intimidating, especially if she knows that something is wrong, but she can't quite say why. So we have a unique style of customer service at Sheer, from the greeting to, you know, what do we say in the fitting room? What do we do in these certain situations that can be very awkward? Um, we make them feel very comfortable um, shopping at Sheer. And we also provide a lot of private services um, for groups and also for individuals. Individuals. Last but not least, I have to say that our products are chosen well. Um, we have an extensive variety of brands. We offer the largest number of brands now in Hong Kong. We have 32. We started with 22. And uh, we carry different sizes from very petite to very large, so the full spectrum in terms of sizing sizing that a lot of other competitors don't carry. And um, all of our products are chosen with a good mix of fashion and function. Both are equally important to me. And without one or the other, it just doesn't quite work. And lastly, uh, we are able to secure exclusivity with some of our brands, which we're very lucky to have. Those are the ones that really believe in um, the growth of Sheer and want to continue long term with us. We also stay very connected with our customers. So this new concept of lingerie is uh, very different in Asia and realizing that lingerie is more of a lifestyle product than a necessity is new. So we offer a lot of lingerie 101 classes. Topics range from basic bra fitting to you know what to wear for what type of guy. This particular photo is um, what to wear under your wedding dress which is also very popular because a lot of women are confused what to do um, underneath their wedding dress. We also have a lot of designer meet and greets, so our customers get a chance to meet the designer herself or himself and speak with them and get fitted uh, personally by that designer. We also have in-store events, lots of parties, make it fun, keep it cool, and um, our, keep our customers coming into the shop. And of course, we also have the annual bra drive every year. It gives the customers an opportunity to donate their gently used bras so we can give them to charity. 
Giving back to community is also something that uh, reoccurs in a lot of events that we do. So every year we have an annual charity fashion show, and every show benefits underprivileged women or children, something that we believe in because lingerie, wearing beautiful lingerie is empowering for women. Um, last, well, actually not this year, we had our One Girl Every Girl charity fashion show last month, actually, and we donated the proceeds to Education for Girls. So it's been two years, like I said, and we've celebrated our successes, but also have overcome many, many challenges. It hasn't been easy, but I would say three key points that I feel have really helped us in the last two years is, number one, to thoroughly understand your market. An idea that works outside of Hong Kong or outside of Asia may sound really great, but it may not necessarily um, fit to the Hong Kong market in terms of cultural differences, behavioral differences, or even economical. So um, I think that's important to do like the proper research um, to understand the market and, and, and then tweak your idea. Or I had to tweak my idea quite extensively in the beginning and then continuously tweaking as well. Don't lose touch with your customers. Um, they drive the business for us. So we, I'm continuously always in the store as much as I can, speaking to the customers, listening to them. They're always evolving, so I know that I, almost, I always have to evolve with them. And lastly, have a supportive network. I'm very lucky, of course, to have great friends and family, but what I mean is more of a business network um, to be able to speak with other entrepreneurs, um, such as you know the, the group I have here, and then also business owners, large or small, they are able to give you the perspective that you may or may not have thought of before. And um, Hong Kong is also a great place for networking. Um, people are very kind and would love to introduce you to the right person. So networking is quite important and quite easy to do in Hong Kong. That's it for me. Thank you.